Well, hello, 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 YouTubers. Welcome to the Legacy Lost Radio and Music Paradise. It's been a little bit since we got something new, but uh, ICOM uh, has a new product here. I don't know how new it is, but uh, Dennis got a hold of one and a couple other buddies, and uh, we're going to go give it a whirl here. It's uh, a VHF uh, radio here. Go ahead, Dennis. All right, to start with, uh, the baseline facts start with here. I'm pretty sure these are relatively new to the market. Uh, they're not advertised much yet so i'm guessing they're uh still fairly new but what we got sitting right here is a uh icom mers type accepted legal license free radio the output is two watts it does your uh standard five mers channels it's got room to expand if uh you can uh, acquire the cable and uh the software which is free to download from what i was instructed with uh Anyways, it's a very good quality radio. I mean, it's um, average price about uh, 140, 150 something. But what makes it worth its while is the fact that it's a, a, a name brand by Icom. It's very durable. The, everything from the belt clip is durable to uh, the charger to uh, the antenna. And I noticed too uh, with the antenna, this actually looks much less to be rather like a. Uh, uh, yeah, Motorola, Motorola style. Motorola style um, antenna here. As you can see, uh, the flanged uh, threads on the inside of the boot of the antenna there. And then you got the connector right here uh, where it, uh, the antenna connects to it. And that is a Motorola because I had a uh, Motorola antenna attached to it. It just won't thread on all the way on the outside, but it will thread uh, to the inside. With that being said... It's very durable. It's waterproof. It's uh, the I think they want to say it's the JSI uh, waterproof uh, Type Seven or however they uh, rate the Marine Band radios, which are equivalently similar to being waterproof in the same aspect. It can get wet. You can hose it. It can get dirty. It's uh, built to military specs. It's uh, shock resistant, and other than that, it comes pre-programmed with Three. your standard. Uh, Mars channels. Two. How many Three. channels does it have on the knob Four. for capability? Five. The manufacturer capability had um, set the parameters from uh, channels one through five, but if you actually look real close at the knob here, it'll be capable of 16 channels with uh, the additional software and the cable has to be purchased, but the additional software will allow this radio to open up a little more to uh, the VHS spectrum. So I'm assuming you can probably use it on uh, amateur radio. I'm not going to endorse it for amateur radio use, but uh, it probably could be used for it, given the fact that it's uh, got 16-channel capability. But like I said, it's factory standards. It's a nice little uh, radio to use. It's uh, Like I said, it's license-free. It's FCC-type accepted. Yep, that's the good thing. That's the good thing. It's the standard 2-watt. Anybody could go to HRO or online and purchase this radio. No license is uh, necessary or needed. And with that being said, it just makes a good uh, addition to uh, what they consider the VHF Citizen Band, which I believe was started all the way back in 2000 or uh, 2002 is when they uh, originally allocated it from the FCC to be uh, into uh, the MERS band. So this is a full-on compliant MERS, M-U-R-S is the acronym for MERS, yep. multi-use radio service. Full MERS compliant FCC type accepted radio that is license free and is legal for anybody to have and own and use. Yep, so if you get a chance, go, go in and or order one, check it out. And uh, thanks uh, for uh, Dennis for bringing that over and ICOM for uh, making a good quality product. And uh, everything else is good here in the background there. We got the uh, AOR... Uh, AR, I think it is 800 scanner there too, so don't mind that. So, anyway, um, please uh, subscribe, please like, and uh, we'll see you in a little while. 73 is Keith, and 73 is all. Yep.